the great hope for transport in the UK was meant to be HS2, High Speed Rail 2, but it's stalled. They're not even building a lot of it now. Why not? And what is the aftermath? Joining me now is the chair of Stop HS2, Penny Gaines. Penny, good morning to you. Thanks for joining us here on TNT Radio. Yeah, um, we, I'm really pleased to be here. We've we've been objecting to HS2 for a long time, ever since it was first, well, not quite since it was first announced. And our objections have always come into three broad categories. So first of all, the idea, part of the idea behind HS2 is that more and more people would be travelling between London and Birmingham, London and Manchester, and they needed to build a new railway to cope with it. And somehow saving time on that journey would turn into an economic benefit for the country. Well, first of all, um, there, there's always going to be a limit to the number of people who are, who are travelling. You, you can't expect the entire country to start travelling. And yet that was part of the, the, the idea that the numbers were always going to keep increasing. But the other side of it was we've always said that digital technologies were going to take take over for a lot of business type travel and as we saw in the pandemic we went from people sort of thinking that they had to move um, and go and talk face to face to being perfectly comfortable using digital technologies video conferencing and the like um, we said that was going to be happening right from the start because we were looking at what the school children are doing we, we, we knew of kids in school who were doing things like talking to pe um, children on the other side of the world using digital technologies and we said that when they get into the office and when they they become managers they will use that that kind of technology um, and as we saw during the pandemic that happened um, and our second main area objection is the environmental damage that HS2 will be causing. Because they had decided that they were going to have a gold-plated as fast as possible railway, never mind the cost, um, it has to go really straight. And that means it couldn't avoid sensitive wildlife sites. Um, so there's a huge environmental cost. And you might say, oh, but carbon. The thing is, with HS2 Limited's own carbon figures, it would still be causing increased carbon emissions for 120 years after it opened. So that is well into the 22nd century. And our third area of objection was the cost. It is an incredibly expensive railway. Um, by deciding to make it as fast as possible, they were adding 10% onto the cost. And that just um, took over into an attitude that they were they, they underestimated the cost of various things such as the cost of buying the land to put the railway on and they minimized else everywhere they could um, and then on top of that they misled parliament about the costs so the vote the, the example that we use these days is in 2019 the minister who was pushing for hs2 went to parliament and said that the budget had by then had increased to 55 billion but they said but she said oh the budget hasn't changed what she didn't say but hs2 limited have told us we, they can't build it for that and a few months later when the prime minister changed and it, the costs nearly doubled to over 100 billion so that's that's those are our main objections so, uh, it's interesting, isn't it? They want to ch shut the ticket offices to save some money, but they're willing to chuck £110 billion into this instead of spending, say, a billion and actually giving us decent internet on the existing rail system. Who thought this up? Well, that's the thing, isn't it? Um, that was one of the things early on we were saying things like that to, to, to ministers and so they were saying, well, nobody's going to want to video conference. And, and the day that the minister was told me that, I was just thinking, well, I knew someone who was video conferencing from the one side of Milton Keynes to the other side of Milton Keynes. So if you're doing that just in offices in the same same town or same city, you're definitely not going to want to go long distances um, when you can video conference. Well, Penny, you're being listened to all across the world. Uh, part of my team is in Australia. Uh, I'm in London. You're somewhere else. We're kind of proving that we didn't all have to get together in one big happy family to have this 10-minute conversation. But it's worse than that, it seems to me, Penny, because they're now junking a lot of it after having done a lot of damage to the countryside and caused people to move out of homes. Yes. Um but the the thing is, 
this is all the the opportunity cost for um, idea. So just because they've spent a lot of money, they need to look at how much more they would have to spend. Um, so they've spent a lot already, but when you compare it to the amount they would still have to spend if they were they were building the whole railway, it is tens and tens of billions. I mean, we think that they ought to cancel phase one completely and then um, return the, the, the countryside, repair the countryside as much as possible, restore the, the habitats, um, rather than carrying on with a railway that's only going to have stations in London and Birmingham. It, so is it, it's not think, not exactly central London, though, is it? They're talking about something called Old Oak Common, which is about t- at least 25 minutes from or 20 minutes minimum, 25 minutes from uh, one of the big hubs in central London, which means if you use HS2, it'll take you longer to get to central London than if you use the existing express trains. Absolutely. And, and this is one of the things why we think that they should have at least called for a review of, of phase one. E- even if they didn't want to actually cancel it directly immediately, they should have at least called for a, or organised a review. But the un- unfortunate thing there was the last so-called independent review was um, chaired by a former chair of HS2 Limited. So not surprisingly, he came to the conclusion that the company that the railway that he used to be in charge of promoting was actually still a good idea. So we think that an independent review of the whole of HS2 is is what they need to do now. Um, Or alternatively, as I said, just cancel the whole lot of it, use some of the money to restore the environment and look at all the other railway, all the other projects that they could be using that money for. So like you say, internet on trains better digital technology to to people's homes and businesses uh, the uh to just to a quick question here why didn't they simply make bypasses railway bypasses so that you could actually run trains of existing stock while on, on existing lines and then just have stopping trains doing all the all the smaller stations i know the whole uh, system would then be quite um, vulnerable to delays if you don't do it right, but that would cost a fraction of this. And you could do that all over yeah, the country. Well, we don't know why. Um, basically, when HS2 Limited was first set up, they just renamed um, the link to the Eurotunnel as HS1. And they said, oh, go and have a look and see if it's a good idea. By the way, we're calling you High Speed 2. Um, that might be a hint. So I don't know why they didn't look at the alternative steep, it's sort of properly. Um, they they could have arranged to have a slower railway that had more 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 stations, even if they wanted to build a new railway. Because part of the problem is you, you mentioned delay potential for delays, but if there's a problem somewhere between London and Birmingham on HS2, you turn around and you go back to either London if you're on, if you're just left there or Birmingham. So there there was no way of rerouting it. They've got no connections to other railways, so you you, you couldn't just just alter it. They they decided they wanted this gold-plated railway, and that's what they were building. And as things have changed, it's it's become less and less of a useful railway. Thank you so much, Penny. I'm sure we'll get you back uh, on the development of this train crash of a project that's uh, penny gains see what i did there <laughs> penny gains uh, chair at stop hs2